Gray as a tailback. You see Johnson going in motion. The handoff to Hawks, and then Jonathan Gray and Jeff Swain, the tight end, who was an honorary offensive lineman of late. Middle of the field is open, and it's going to be a first down for the Longhorn. And Texas comes out slinging middle of the field, and that is intercepted. Fender was there in front of him. And you see him kind of slow down the route a little bit there. That's what caused that interception. I'm going to have to put that one on the receiver since they changed the identity. Straight ahead, Gray. He got hit right away. And a flip. Johnson. If he gets loose, forget about it. Watch these guys take out their men. You get the hook block by Daniels and then the downfield block by Swain. That's good stuff, and that's why they're running the ball so well. And McCoy off the play action. And McCoy is a pretty good runner here looking for that marker gets rid of it. Play action fake. On the left side overthrow. The pressure from Kansas trying to run away from it. But Brown, a little hole popped up there. Back on the ground and just stop the run. McCoy screens it. This is Brown. Has one man in front of him, but he won't get to. And there's the flip to Johnson. Got one block to the 20. The 24. McCoy pumped it. Got his inside screen. Johnson again. And on the ground, Brown. Pressure from Kansas. McCoy gets it loose. There's Shipley. First down. And there's Shipley again. Good block down the timing on the throw and a good block. It's coming from up there. And they lay out of it. There's another deep pass down the left side. It's overthrown. Boy goes the other way. This time defender fell down. Shipley's open, stumbling a bit of the 15-yard line. He'll get inside the 10. Definitely. Watch the fake and the head sh and shoulder shake that he gave right there at the top of that route. That froze the defender and gave Shipley, uh, in fact, it knocked the defender down. Down to the four-yard line. Head off Brown. And he will only get to the... Hand off. And right behind the beef, it's a Texas touchdown. Guys with their hands in the dirt there on the left. And the key block there was the big one by uh, Trey Hopkins. Yet. And it'll be Gray. Has a little bit of work here to the 50. He it to him and gave Gray the chance. And Gray, big hole. Gray up the middle, first down, and maybe more. Gets behind. Watch Mace Walters get the linebacker here and push Heaney right out of the hole. There he is. Bam. That opens it up. A nice double team down on the nose there. That's good blocking. Texas going quickly here. McCoy back on the ground. He's got Gray. Gray's got. <laughs> and it's Gray. And that offensive line is. And indeed, back to the ground. And it's tight. And they go quickly. And it's going to be close. But instead, a little forward pitch to Johnson. This time, Kansas. Oh! Kansas. Out of the backfield. Straight up the middle. Swain, 82. And the play following him. Flag is down. For right here. Swain has just done an outstanding job. If I'm going to put it on one guy or another as far as uh, really changing the, the template. Two catches for 12 yards. We made him an impact player. There's the pitch to Johnson. And they're running behind Swain that time. This is down the sideline to Mike Davis. This time, other way. Caught and shipping him. Back on the ground. Oh, nice move that time by Brown. Brown inside the five. 27. Everyone else, they got a hat for a hat, so they tell the running back, all right, you got to get that guy in. Boy, he, Brown took care of him, no problem. To the left side again, that's where they go. And Brown, stutter step into the end zone, touchdown. The, the big fella right here. He's just going to turn his man. There's nobody in the hole left. Just an outstanding job. He's them down. So far, four missed tackles on the day for Texas. And Texas on the ground with that for coming in and, and taking control of those fundamentals and the techniques. One pass attempts, and he hasn't been sacked. Screen, bubble, Johnson. And he... Couple of fakes on the roll. McCoy makes it out to the 22-yard line. In the shadows, Gray has a hole, and he'll have a first down. Slung out to Shipley. 
Pressure here. McCoy gets away nicely. Still in trouble. Fires it down the field and he has a first down. It's the savvy to avoid that and make the completion. That Texas goes up tempo. McCoy throws into the blitz. And McCoy just curl it up in front of you and McCoy's on the same page with him. When you say from off, what do you mean? Uh, they fake to Johnson. Gray breaks one tackle. And McCoy is going to be sacking game that Texas used so well last week against TCU has been held down. But worry about that a little bit. And he kept doing it. They were all incomplete, I might add. Going to Mike Morton at him and see what happens. And there he goes. Deep down the field. And it's out of bounds. Time to start. This is my start. With Ashes. How long do you wait? You can't. Gray. There's a deep shot down the field, and it's going to be caught. On the uh, sideline, let's see if he gets the feet in. Has the ball, the foot is in. You just need one in college catch. Booth didn't even buzz down. They go out to the flat. This is Johnson again. Really put Kansas in a horrible position if they can get seven here. And Brown fighting for the extra yard. I like to run towards that. And stutter step by Brown. And Pretty simple play here. Brown fighting for everything, but he won't make it. Yes, they do. And Brown fighting for the extra feet. He gets the six. For touchdowns by Brown, we were uh, complimenting offensive linemen because there was huge holes. This one is all Malcolm Brown. He ran over through and, and uh, around people to get in there. Look at the fight uh, just to keep digging them legs and get into the end zone. And if the Longhorns try to close this game out, they go to the ground again. McCoy, that's going to be a first down. Nice throw. McCoy showing what he got. Drilled. And that pass is up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Catch made by Isaiah Johnson. McCoy came out of any consideration if he was ever up for it in the first place. Case McCoy stays in the game, and he hands off to Malcolm Brown. It breaks loose. It's funny when you're talking to Case McCoy, and he said, you know, my brother told me that uh, as it's reward. Well, I don't doubt it for a second. One of the rewards is... Enjoying DK as they come up from time to time. Straight ahead and didn't. And McCoy fell down, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be a fourth touchdown for Malcolm Brown. And the answer is no, I don't think you can call that one. I don't think you can change it. I don't think it's enough to change it. Who has found the end zone from up close and from far away. And spent in that position. Joe Berger on the tailback. And it'll be Swoops who carries the ball. Briefly shaken up today. Not enough to knock him out of the ball game, but he took a vicious shot while throwing a pass. Bergeron gets outside and gets knocked. So McCoy will get that first win in a start in this building. As Swoops, you can hear the crowd getting jacked up as Swoops continues to move the pile. And there's uh, some evidence for your case. Ever, ever an easy trip to make to Morgantown. That pass tipped and caught. Be the guy that beat OU. You can be the guy that beat TCU. Or you can be the guy that won. A Fourth and. No doubt about that. Here he is, that first one. I'll tell you, it was all about the offensive line there. But here's Brown making a man, missing the hole, and then running, getting it down inside. And he'll finish it off himself. As he pounds another one in the end zone in this last one. This is vintage Malcolm Brown who has found the end zone from up close and from far away.